Time to kick out the jams this weekend in downtown Jacksonville, the Monster Jams. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. I am envious this morning. You are out there with the big ones. Oh my gosh, you should definitely be envious. Let me just say, I got the fun, the fun assignment today. I absolutely scored. You know, we've been talking to drivers all day, showing off these amazing trucks. You know, at 754 thereabouts, we told you about the Scooby-Doo. Well, here she is, the driver, Miss Lindsay Reed. There is so much girl power here between you and Kristen Anderson. What do you want to say to young girls who are down with this? Oh, absolutely. You know, being on tour with Kristen Anderson all in itself is amazing. She is such a great influence on kids. You know, I have three daughters of my own, so I know that I want them to go out there and see strong females like her out here on the track, tearing it up against all of these male dominated sports. You know, it's crazy what we do out here, but you know what? You can do it. You dare to dream big, you live without fear, and you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. Girl, I absolutely love, love, love your energy, and you are the freestyle world champion. What got you started? My gosh. So I was a huge fan growing up. I absolutely loved Monster Jam in my hometown of El Paso, Texas, and I used to see females out there, and I'm like, wow. They are so cool. I want to be like them one day. So I ended up getting a ride in a tough truck and doing that for Monster Jam, and after the second year, I did really good, milliseconds behind first place. So I had some of the Monster Jam drivers come up to me and they're like, dang, hey girl, you're pretty good. Would you want to come out here and drive a Monster Jam truck? Uh, yeah, look at this thing. Who doesn't want to come out here and try one of these bad boys out? So I went to Monster Jam University. I learned from Tom Mentz himself. And then I got my seat in 2016, and I've been living my dream ever since. Awesome. So talking about your dream, we're going to go for a walk because we want to show off your truck. Tell us all about it, if you don't mind, Scooby-Doo. Yes. I want to know all about it, girl. It is so much fun. This is the best truck out there. You know, kids know it. Adults know it. Somebody has seen Scooby-Doo at one point or another. So I got the tail that wags around as I go around the track. We got the ears up there, the tongue hanging out the side. It's so much fun for everybody, and it's such a great thing for people to be able to come out and see. You know, I only got about one minute left, but you know, COVID put us all on pause. We're able to restart. How good is it to see the fans again? Oh, it is so amazing. I love the fact that we still get to do our pit parties. You get to come out. We can't do the high fives and the hugs like we used to, but you know what? I'm still here, so you guys can come out and meet me and see my 12,000 pound truck holding in the flesh. It's so exciting. And let me tell you, we may be at 25% capacity, but those fans at every single show, it's like there's 60,000 people in the audience at all time. They get loud, they get rowdy, and that is what I'm looking forward to this weekend. So I can't wait to see you guys. Absolutely. We love that energy. We love your energy. Thanks for joining us. Of course, it kicks off tomorrow. Come see Lindsay. Come see all this. Have a great time and always be safe. I'll send it right back to you guys.